Good morning, everybody, and welcome. This is Michael Loge, and welcome to the Daily Inspirational Law of Attraction and NLP Calls with me, Michael Loge, and my delightful friend, Linda Story. And, uh, you know, these calls are uh, intended, and we are meeting our intentions with the results, and they're intended to inspire you and uplift you and educate you and ideally leave you with more information than, than you knew before you came to the call and certainly with enough tools that you can start applying all of this great stuff to your life so you can have a rich, full, delicious life. That would be okay, wouldn't it? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Ah, great. So I'm glad you're here. This is class number four. Uh, we've been with Linda Story, Master NLP Practitioner, and she's also an EFT Practitioner, and she's everything that uh, everything you'd want in your back pocket to fix your life up. So that's why she's in my life. She's great. And uh, I've been working with her for many years. Whenever I learned an anything in NLP, I would come to her with a really complicated term, and I'd say, I don't know what this means. And she would say, okay, that's, here's what it means. And then she would give it the Linda Story interpretation. I would say, oh, I got it. And now my friend Andrea is studying to be an NLP practitioner. She's coming to me, and she's thinking, I do not know what this means. And I would tell her, and she would say, oh, I've heard you say that before. So I'm taking credit like I've been the one that made it simple, but it's really the talented Linda story. So I'm glad she's here. I'm glad she's back. Linda, welcome back. And I want you to um, take you, today. Today's the class yours. I'm excited about the subject. It's one of my favorite NLP tools. I have another favorite. You'll hear what it is. So Welcome back, Linda Story. Thanks, Michael. Happy to be here. Thanks. Um, so I'd just like to hear from a few of you um, about what, what connection are you seeing that can take place now between reframing and law of attraction. So yesterday we talked about reframing, which is an NLP language pattern, and we talked about it raising vibration. And so are you seeing any correlation between the two and how you can use it with law of attraction? would like to let me know that? This is Sarah. I really like the word curious. This is Sandra. Um, so Sarah, can you just, I'll come back to you, Sandra. Sarah, what was that you said? I said I really like the word, um, two things that happened yesterday. One was I used to, I, I did that in the past. Oh, yes. And the other one was using the word, I'm curious about the outcome or I'm curious about how this came about, rather oh, okay. than being concerned. Right, okay, the word curious. All right, great. And so in terms of law of attraction, what did that do for you, That using that word curious versus worry? It gave me the expectation that I was looking for something interesting and, and it heightened my expectancy. Okay, great. And then it probably would have also raised your vibration, right? Right. Using law of attraction terms. Yes. Perfect. Okay. And who was the other gal? Oh, uh, Sandra. I'm sorry. Sandra. I was unmuting myself, so I, I didn't hear the other person speaking. That's okay. What um, were you going to say, Sandra? Well, I, I wasn't on the call yesterday, um, but what occurs to me is that when you use reframing, it's a way of changing your, your vibration. Instead of um, staying with a negative vibration, it gives you a chance to put what you're currently experiencing in a different light. Perfect. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> That's just about exactly the same words we said yesterday, especially for the visual. Puts things in a different light and a different perspective. <laughs> I love that. You love love that, it. Michael? Yeah, love that. Do we talk about what it does for kinesthetics to make you laugh? No, I won't. <laughs> that was too funny. Um, okay, so yes, it does help raise our vibration, um, shift our energy, increase expectation. It reduces resistance, helps us to feel better, and it actually adds choices. And one of the great ways that we do it all the time in Law of Attraction is with the contrast versus clarity. We get that sheet of paper, put that line down the middle, we list everything that we don't want, and then each time we take one item and put it over to the right-hand side on the clarity list, we have just done a reframe. Wow. And yeah. So you've been doing it all along, but now we're going to do it even more deliberately. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. You yeah. We're deliberate doers. We're <laughs> deliberate reframers. Yeah. We're magic makers. <laughs> yeah. And wait till we okay, become so deliberate installers. That's even fun. Yeah, and my hunch is yeah. we're going to do that right now. 
We are. They already are delivered installers, okay. and I'm just going to um, break it all down. Okay. So, installing and um, so installing and reframing, which was yesterday and tomorrow or Monday, which is future pacing. They will be so integrated, you won't even hardly know when you're doing one or the other. And they're just such a beautiful trio. So installing, it's taking the process of using words and using those words to plant seeds. And the seeds are, will open up possibilities. And those possibilities help us to attract what it is that we want. So I always think of installing as just going to the ground, uh, moving back the soil, planting in those seeds, of possibilities, that's what we want. So we're installing the seeds, putting the soil back over, and then when we water it, we're watering it with our positive intention. We're watering it with a high vibration, with good, clean thoughts of, yes, that's going to happen. Right. Well, one thing so, I want to bring to it, our, our attention too, Linda, is that install, people install bad things without knowing they're doing the installing, right? right? So we're going to learn how to do it deliberately. I'll just give you an example. You know, somebody says, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to this movie. And they said, oh, you won't like the second part. So you see how they've installed that I won't like it? Or, you know, I, I think I'll get the chicken on the menu and say, oh, the, chickens could, the chicken could be tough here. So yes. sometimes we install, install things without knowing it. So we're, you're teaching us how to be deliberate seeders or planters yes. of a positive idea. Yeah. And you're going to do an I awesome could... job with that. Yeah. I had a client yesterday, Michael, and she said her husband, when he found out she was going to a luncheon, and let's just say it was Mary was going to be there, he said, oh, you better be careful about Mary. She'll get talking about politics. Yeah. And um, <laughs> so she went to the meeting just with a little bit of awareness yeah. and just felt totally fine and totally prepared. But it was quite funny. He was installing. Yeah, you know? for sure. Yeah. Okay, so on a positive note, it creates possibilities, choice, and that feeling of hopefulness. It helps us to raise our um, confidence and to <laughs> become motivated. Also brings about a sense of being back in personal control, and it removes doubt and resistance. And it's also a really good reminder of our capabilities. So it works really well if we're talking to children, if we're speaking to our clients, and especially with our own self-talk, especially when we're talking to ourselves. So I'll just give you a few examples of installing, and then we can have a discussion about it or um, you know, come up with some other ideas too. Okay. So one thing that someone said to me years and years ago in my very first um, teleclass when I was on Michael's training to become a teleleader, my coaching buddy said to me, Linda, people are waiting for you to teach this material. And it was just a simple little comment from her, but it just was like a light bulb moment for me and um, because I'd never taught over the phone at, up to that point. Um, so thank you, Michael, for bringing yeah. teleclasses to all of us. Well, so that was installing. Wait, when I do teleclasses, here's an install that I do. I'll say, um, when you do share, state your name first. That's right. <laughs> so I'm installing that they'll share. When you do share, state your name first. Yeah. Yeah. And so here's another one. Don't you love that you have all the information you need to turn this into a course or a product? I mean, some of you may be so expert right now in a particular subject, and you're right on the edge of turning it into something that's going to bring in you another stream of revenue. Mm -hmm. So it's thinking about these possibilities. Yeah. And if you're and working with one. sorry, if you're working with students, you can I say things like if you read it two times, it'll really integrate the information better. Mm -hmm. And so that's installing that that idea that they need to read it two times. That's or sometimes right. I'll say um, m m most people after the second read so I'm installing to them, oh I better read it twice or I should read it twice. That's right. Um, and here's one if you have teenagers at home um, or someone that likes borrowing your car. It's like, sure, you can borrow the car. I know you're a really safe driver and always replace, replace the gas that you use. <laughs> so you're installing that they're going to be safe and they're going to put the gas back in. That's installing. Mm -hmm. um, now, that, I love hanging out with you. You've got such great energy. We have so much fun when we're together. Yes. That's installing. 
Yeah. So lots of times when we're giving compliments or we're really in a, you know, feeling really good about something or someone and we express that, yeah. we're just letting the universe know. You uh, know, some of the Go ahead. Yep. You have something, Michael? Yeah. Well, I was remembering when I was in, in a trade show. I was at a trade show booth. And sometimes people come and they would talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and I want to get rid of them. It's like I'm done with you, right, in a polite, gentle way. And, I, you know, so to, to, to suggest that they leave or to install that the, they would leave, I would reach for my business card and I would say, before you leave, I'd like to give you my business card. <laughs> and in brackets, what I wasn't saying was, and you are leaving. You know, before you leave or before you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like saying to, you know, little kids, um, do you want to put your pajamas on now or in 10 minutes from now? <laughs> so, you know, there's there's a fine line between these double-bind statements and installing. So yeah. it is. It's always moving us towards what it is that we want. Yeah. When we say things like the universe is obedient and brings to me whatever it is that I'm focused on, yeah. and that's installing. Yeah, we were talking that, Sorry, there's a little delay on the phone or something today, or I'm just too anxious. Earlier we were talking about using the word um, hunch. Oh, my hunch is you're going to love this. Or my hunch is you're going to do an awesome job. My hunch is you'll love the first part the best. Mm -hmm. So when we say we have a hunch about something to others, it's actually installing, oh, my hunch, this is a perfect job for you. Mm -hmm. Or my hunch is this is the right mate for you, or whatever that might be. So mm -hmm. Barbara was saying you know, earlier how much we love hunching. Yeah. In my NLP training, you know, my trainer said something really wonderful to me. Uh, because growing up kinesthetic, I always felt, or quite often felt, that I was not so much lagging behind, but I needed more time to process the information. And um, I probably had a lot of visual friends like you, Michael, at the time. <laughs> but what she said was, you are such a quick learner to this material. And like, she really meant it. And I thought, I don't think anybody in my whole life has told me that I learn quickly. And inside myself, I thought, with well, certain subjects, I really do learn quickly. So that was a huge installation, and it really raised my confidence level, especially yeah. as I was a student. Well, particularly, you know, this dovetails really nicely into the communication styles because, you know, having my style has its challenges. Like everybody has a challenge, and it's always nice to kind of install things. Like, you know, I like to move fast. I like to move quickly. And, and, um, and, and I think part of installing that, it's like, okay, so we're going to do – so um, uh, just quickly, give me a couple of sentences for that. So during a teleclass, I would say, so um, in one or two sentences, like I'm installing that, just quickly, who'd like to give me an answer about that? So with right. teaching, I'm installing all the time. Yeah. Right, because if we have a teleclass and we know that, I, I usually get to know because they, I'm teaching NLP and they're, um, they've already done the communication stuff. So if I have several people on there that are auditory and auditory digital who love to tell stories, the auditory, and then the auditory digital um, have a tendency sometimes to start with a subject and have long, complicated sentences. Yes. So this is where, as a tele-leader, when we know that, we would use a statement like what Michael just said. Yes. So, like, in two words, you know, let me know what the best thing was that you heard today or something like that. Yes. When, yes. when time is, you know, really important. Yeah. In my seminar, I mean, if you recorded my seminars, you could hear me installing and future pacing and, and reframing. And, you know, I always say things like... Um, you know, over the next couple of days or earlier, some of you are going to catch yourself using the word don't, not, and no. <laughs> so I'm future pacing, but I'm also installing the idea that they're going to catch themselves using that. And yeah. some of you might even hear my voice in your head, so I'm installing that too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And your subconscious mind's listening the yeah. whole time. So, you know, it's setting up some new programs here. And it'd be okay if we had fun today, right? <laughs> totally okay. Yeah. Well, good. Well, let's, uh, let's take some comments and questions, find out uh, right. how people are thinking about this or examples they might want to check out. Yeah. So does it seem easier than you thought it would be? I'd like to hear from someone. Oh, my hunch is there's about two people that want to say something, Linda. We'll just wait for them to come forward. <laughs> uh -huh. One especially. Marilyn in Pasadena. I hey, Marilyn. There you go. It was Marilyn. <laughs> Hi. Um, you know, I think what would be so helpful for me is if I go to sleep and hear a tape over and over about my 
in subconscious, so it'll really imprint on my subconscious. You know, some of the things we talked about, you're, you're going to know it. Every, you know, I don't know exactly what it would say, but I, I um, do you have anything like that, Linda, or any suggestions? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you just have to have a 15-minute chat with Linda, and you'll be full. You'll get a whole, um, <laughs> you'll get a whole slew of expressions and sayings and future paces and installs. I think it'd be so great to be able to listen to it as I'm sleeping, mm-hmm. and it's going to imprint on the subconscious, and then it'll be there. That's right. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Just creating some new programs all about, you know, con- raising confidence and all about your capabilities. Yeah, it would be wonderful. <laughs> there's another project for you, Linda. I know. And Michael and I were talking this morning, and it was like, okay, I'm taking my notes as fast as I can. <laughs> Yeah. He was installing. He was installing. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, yeah, I, I see you doing some more products, Linda. <laughs> uh-huh. uh-huh. Okay, who else has a question or comment? Hey, this is Eric. I have a question. Hey, good morning, Eric. And hey, happy birthday, Eric. Happy birthday, Eric. Oh, thank let's you. sing happy birthday. Uh, mm, <laughs> let's not do that, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, all right, let me have, here's my question. If uh, people are installing... Uh, on you, you don't necessarily like the installation or the form of it. How do you handle that? Like if someone says, "Oh, I can see this for you," or 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 in some other way, and it doesn't really feel right to you, how do you handle that? Well, you can reframe it. You could say, "Well, that's an interesting thought." I mean, because I often don't even want to go there with them. I'll just say, "Oh, that's interesting," or you know, "Yeah, I know that's really important to you," or "That's how you be- that's what you believe." And um, so you really have to honor yourself. And then you could reframe it. And if it goes on too long, sometimes you just choose not to hang out with people that are constantly lowering your vibration. Michael, what would you do? Uh, Probably the same thing. (laughs) I wouldn't attract attract company like that. And if I did, I would um, make it a really brief encounter. Yeah. Unless you're married Mm -hmm. to them, of course. But... (laughs) Yeah, Thank that's you. right. Well, and this client that I had yesterday, she's married to a fellow that does that, and so she's and she's auditory, so she used to go right into a heated argument with him. Well, now she's um, she's just saying, "Yes, I've heard you say that before," <laughs> and because they have real deep political differences, yeah. and so she says that just stops it. So that's good. Yeah, sometimes it's just that needing to hear that you've been heard. Yeah, that's right. Good. That's right. So, well, my hunch today, Eric, is that you're going to be some spoiled today, and everyone's going to be acknowledging your birthday. Would that be okay? <laughs> that would work. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> be installing a whole fun with you. <laughs> All right. Anyone else have a question or a comment about installing? Mm-hmm. Has there been a time that you did it and it really worked, or a time that you would like to do something with someone or with yourself? Well, it's, help? it's Tracy. Hi. Hi, um, Tracy. I just actually had an example that I think would be helpful for this. So I just said something to um, to my roommate, and I'm sure that there was another way that I could have said it. And I'm wondering how, so it's not, I mean, you know, they're gone, it's fine. It's just what I say to myself, like, oh, I shouldn't have said it that way or anything like that. So I, I understand that there's a reframe in there, and there's definitely an install. <laughs> Right. So, are you wanting help with that? Does, does my does my question make sense? So, like, if yeah, I did want... something, if I did something that I would have liked to have done better, right? And saying to myself, "Oh, I shouldn't have said that." Okay. So, one thing that I would say to myself, and you could, <laughs> is that I love knowing how I feel right now. I love the awareness of what just went on, and I'm I'm choosing to do it differently next time. And then you go through that scenario, and here's what I would have said in the future. Yeah. And you know what? So it's like, you know, it, it happened, um, you're aware, you have an intention that you want to do it differently, and you're going to do it differently. Here, here's how the visuals, or I would handle that. And the visual, that's good. Yeah. yeah, I would say this to myself, because it happens to me, right? I would say, note to self. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so no, note to self, don't, don't eat here again. <laughs> 
<laughs> note to self, don't get the Mugu Gai Pan chicken or something like that, right? <laughs> so it's a little note, and I say it out loud. I say it to myself, and yeah. that helps to kind of install it and acknowledge it. Yeah. Yeah. I've actually used those same words too, Michael, to myself. Yeah. Note to self. Yeah. Like if I've tripped over something, I was with somebody and I tripped over something and it was like, note to self, move that later. <laughs> note to self. Yeah. And yeah. so it just it just takes the sting out of it. And, yeah. um, and, and it sounds like your intention is that you want to do it differently. Yeah. Absolutely. And I love that you said I love the awareness of what just went on. I could actually feel my energy shift. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you weren't aware, you would just keep doing it over and over and over again. So, wow, I'm glad that my feelings or this whatever is in my gut or wherever it was going on is letting me know there's something to do differently here. I am so aware. I love that. And I'm going to give one more example, and then we need to wind up. This morning on my run with my friend Jeff, we're actually running through a park, so there's lots of acorns and leaves and stuff on the ground. And he slipped and almost tripped a little bit, and then we both noticed it, right? So we had so much heightened awareness around his slippage. Even though I wasn't slipping, I observed him slipping, and now what's law of attraction? Checking, 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 picking up, slipping, slipping, <laughs> slipping. So as soon as we slip, we always do this. We always say this out loud, gripping, gripping. So he slips, we don't say anything, and at the same time we say gripping, and the whole time we're running, we're deliberately gripping onto the ground or something. So that's kind of an... That's installing every foot. There's going to be a grip, a grip, a grip. Well, Michael, that's just like the contrast versus clarity. So the contrast side would have slipping, yeah, and the so clarity side would have gripping. Gripping, yeah. Just two words, even, right? Well, good. So let's take well, a look, Linda. I came and, up with it. Oh, go ahead. Michael, I just came up with this little installing thing I just want to say so they can have a real um, experience of it, okay? Okay. Do you, would you want them to write it down, too? No. No. Okay. I'll, I'll just go on a little rampage. Yeah, do not write this down. <laughs> do not write it down. It's not worthy of writing down. Do no. <laughs> She's a little bossy for a kinesthetic, isn't she? <laughs> I'm just installing that there's not enough time for them to write it down. <laughs> I'm installing that we only have a couple minutes to go. <laughs> yeah. Well, they can always okay. listen to it again and, and record it. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that, you'll get to hear the recording, and if it's worthy, I don't know if it's worthy. <laughs> now that anyway, it's all set up. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know that you already have a toolbox filled with life skills and career skills. So adding and using these practical NLP tools will come really easy to you. They were chosen especially for law of attraction enthusiasts, people like you. The more you integrate NLP and law of attraction, the more powerful your affirmations and desi desire statements will become. You really, you'll really own them, they'll speak to you, and you'll actually be able to see yourself easily manifesting on a consistent basis. And how much fun is that? So that's just a little install. Oh, good. That was delightful. That's yeah. good. Oh, very good. Let's end the call today by hearing from three people. What was something that you learned today that excited you or that you see you're, you're going to be using in the future or something that really made sense and put everything all together today? I know there's three of you. Who wants to go first? This is Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Go ahead. I think I actually saw the, the, you know, the, what you don't want and what you do want in absolute clarity through this call we had today. Oh, really? Excellent. And reframing. And installing, so it, it just was very, very clear, and no, oh, thank you for it. You're welcome. Thanks for saying that. Who'd like to go next? This is Carrie. Carrie with a K? That's with a K. Okay, good. That's right, Carrie. Go ahead. I like the installing um, the, how do I want to say this, the, the positive thing that, that doesn't have to start a whole thing. Like when she her, her friend's husband said to her, something and she says to him well I've heard you say that before I like that a lot oh yeah <laughs> yeah she didn't have to go into it at all with him right there's no thing <laughs> yeah. that's right okay great no thing is nothing yeah, yeah. no thing yeah, there's no thing okay, thanks <laughs> Karen if you live away good and who's going to go next oh, it's Tracy hey uh, Tracy Hi. Uh, so I love what I love about the installing is it's there's a sort of sophistication to it. It's a very clean way to to help move something forward. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's a nice elegance. 
And I'd love to just share this. I'm actually, I live on the beach, and I'm looking at five dolphins right now right mm -hmm. in front of me in the water. So oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay. Well, my hunch is that you are going to pick up this material so quickly. I actually see you using it today with people to help inspire and move them forward within their day. Would that be okay if you all got that today, yes or no? Yes. 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 Very good. Okay, Michael, Linda. Before, before we go, this is Phyllis. Can you give me the website to uh, access your library? Uh, do you have, are you a member of the library? Yes, uh-huh. Okay. Uh, if you go to the, on my webpage at the very top, there's a little box that says sign in here. Okay. Do you remember your password and things, your account? Uh, when you click sign I, in here, you'll see, if it'll say, oh, don't know your password, you can email Diane and she can help you out okay. with that. Okay. Here. And Thank Linda, you. do you want us to remind us what uh, Monday's class is going to be about? Monday's class is all about future pacing. So if um, Tracy thought that this was sophisticated and elegant, future pacing um, is like the icing on the cake. That's right. Wow. That's, and that's, that's it's, going to be, it's going to be one of the funnest classes. It's going to be <laughs> one of the classes that you are going to use most of. And I see you all <laughs> eagerly waiting for it to happen on Monday as it unfolds. And, and my promise to you, at the end of the class, you'll be in such good shape that you'll be able to use it in everyday language and practice. That's my hunch for you. Love that. Yeah. Don't we love being future-paced? Yeah. 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 I love it, too. Okay, everybody, happy weekend, and uh, okay. we'll hear from you on Monday. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.